Today, I would like to introduce you to the Bullseye Board, a wireless IoT node solution. It is designed for the many use cases found in smart home, industrial IoT, medical and personal care applications. This board was designed with solutions from our leading industry partners, Panasonic, TE Connectivity, Renaissance, NPS and Infineon. Hi, welcome back to Tech Ventures. My name is Lizina, and I'm the Technical Marketing Engineer at Future Electronics. If you're interested in checking out any previous Tech Venture videos, then please click the link on the screen or check out the description box below. Bullseye is a new development board designed by our very own System Design Center engineers. It's an innovative new solution which showcases Panasonic's embedded 2.4 GHz Wi-Fi module, the Pan9520. It is based on Espresso's ESP32-S2 chipset and features a highly integrated controller, which can be used in standalone or host-controlled applications. In addition to the Panasonic Wi-Fi module, the Bullseye board features four selectable external antennas from TE Connectivity for extended range with different use cases or performance evaluations, an inductive position sensor from Renaissance with a breakout actuator board, a battery charger from MPS and power solutions to enable battery-powered wireless IoT node designs, a USB micro B and type C interface, and a micro bus interface. Now that we're familiar with the components on the board, let's talk about how to use all these features. In the anti-static bag, you'll find the bullseye board, one paddle antenna with cable, and a flex PCB antenna. The charging cable is not included, so you'll need a USB cable with a micro B connector. First, verify that the jumper is present on P8. This powers the inductive position sensor circuitry. Next, break off the small actuator PCB board attached to the lower left corner of the bullseye board by twisting it up and down with your hand or using cutters. Place the small actuator board anywhere in between the two guide rails over here. Next, connect the flex PCB antenna to connector J3 and connect the paddle antenna to connector J4. This concludes the hardware setup. To power on the board, connect a 5 volt USB power supply to this connector over here, or you can always connect it to your laptop. For the purposes of today's demo, I will not be going through the setup on the Espressif IDE. Our demo uses the Espressif ESP Touch app and will require a phone or tablet. Please download the app from the Google Play Store or the Apple App Store as needed. Press button S3 once to initiate pairing mode. The blue LED should be flashing two times per second. If you skip this step, the module will not pair with the app. Open up the ESP Touch app and select the first option in the main menu. We need to connect our device to a 2.4 GHz Wi-Fi network as internet access is required for some of the web page buttons and images. Enter the Wi-Fi network access password. Click Start on the Android app or Confirm on the iPhone app at the bottom of the screen. After several seconds, a confirmation of successful pairing with an IP address should be shown on the screen. Hold on to this address. We will need it in the next step. The PAN9520 on the bullseye board is now paired with the selected Wi-Fi network and the blue LED should have stopped blinking. This concludes the app setup. The next step is to open an internet browser on a PC or tablet connected to the same Wi-Fi network that we used in the app. Enter the IP address that we were holding on to before. This enables connection to the PAN9520 Wi-Fi module embedded web page server. Through this interface, we have access to four out of the box functional demos. Going from top to bottom, we have antenna test first. This allows the remote selection of one of the four bullseye Wi-Fi antennas. Select an antenna and perform a Wi-Fi scan by clicking the button on the bottom of the page. The web page will be updated to reflect the SSID, the RSSI, the channel and security information for each Wi-Fi access point detected with the selected antenna. The closer the RSSI is to zero decibel milliwatts or dBMs, the stronger the signal is. Next, we have the position sensing demo. 
This displays a live graph of the inductive position sensor from Renesas. The graphic bar moves to indicate the center position of the breakout actuator board as it is moving along the two inch long sensing track. An interesting thing to know here is that the little actuator board does not contain a magnet. Position sensing is calculated based on the inductive principle. The sensor is immune to magnetic stray fields and thus does not require shielding. This single chip supports on-axis and off-axis rotation, linear motion, and arc motion sensing. Then we have the battery level demo. This displays the live graph of battery voltage. And finally, we have the remote control demo. This page demonstrates remote control function of the PAD9520 via its embedded web page interface. The out-of-the-box demo firmware allows for remote control of the three user LEDs on the bullseye board by simply clicking the corresponding slide button on this web page interface like so. So we have a red LED, a green one, and a blue one. And now you know how to get started with the bullseye board. The Bullseye Evaluation Board enables system design engineers to quickly evaluate and integrate Wi-Fi communication and functionality into their IoT products without having comprehensive knowledge of wireless hardware and software designs. To learn more about Panasonic, TE Connectivity, or Renesas, please feel free to reach out to your local Future Electronics representative or visit us online at futureelectronics.com. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time on Tech Ventures with Lozina.